an opportunity to be able to pick every item that goes into the show and to pick and choose those people you get to work with. Uh, I like this guy. This is Sean Pickford. He's been a good friend now for over 25 years. Great to see you. Can I tell you why I'm excited about this? I got suckered. I saw an infomercial on TV. It was last summer and it was one of these expandable hoses and they showed two hoses connected together. It was a hundred foot. I was very excited about that. Uh, paid the money, got it at home and it was a 25 foot hose. Uh, 25 feet is not very long. No. Not when you've got any gardens whatsoever. So Sean was challenged to bring us the best value in hoses that I've seen in a long time. These are two 100 foot hoses. Now by the way, a 100 foot rubber hose would weigh how much do you think? <laughs> Well, that's about 10 pounds. Okay. All right. And the big rubber ones might be two or three times that right. weight. This is two pounds, even with the brass fittings on the ends. And you get two of these for $46.12. By the way, you also get two, seven different nozzle uh, projections, two of those. You, it, this is everything you need for your watering needs for all of spring, all of summer. Uh, brand new this season. I will say we don't have a lot. And it is an expandable hose. In yeah. fact, this is what makes gardening, people who love to garden, they still don't want to be lugging yeah. around a big garden hose. We've all tangled with this. We've all fought with this. It was great when it came out because it got it up off your lawn, but that's a hassle. Right. We end up coiling them up, or if we coil them up, or you leave them in your yard. Well, here's the difference. You can put 200 feet of garden hose in a big flower pot. Right. This is really easy. We're just going to turn this on. And when I go ahead and turn this on, we're going to show you yes. that fast. Okay, you can see the hose starts to grow. So it goes from 33 feet when it's coiled up. Uh -huh. Now it's going to grow to 100 feet in length. So when it grows to that 100 feet in length, it does. It looks kind of like a snake. <laughs> you can <clears throat> see that it just starts to expand right. and expand, and it'll get to the point where it doesn't expand anymore because it's out to its full length. And the great thing is, is no matter what you want to use, no matter what you want to water, what you want to do, you have all the power that you need. So if you're going to buy John's pressure washer that's coming up a little later, great yep. pressure washer, you can use this with it. Sprinkler system, you can use this with it. Watering your plants, you can use this with it. The fireman's nozzle, if you've got a special nozzle you want to put in replace of this it one. It works. It works. That's the great thing. A couple things you need to know. The connectors are the Achilles heel of any garden hose. Uh, if these are pot metal, which is usually the case with inexpensive hoses, it doesn't take much to take these out around. You can squish them very easily, accidentally stepping on them. These are brass. They are solid. You're not going to crush those. No. So whether you're going to be connecting two hoses together to get 200 feet right. and still have weight that's minimal, or whether it's going to be using one hose in the backyard, one hose in the front, at $46.12, this is a great price tag. There's always innovation in any category of products. And in lawn and garden, we went through this big evolution about five years ago where everybody came out with a new hose. We had flat hoses that you had to unreal every inch of it or you couldn't use it. We saw the expandable hoses come out and they are a brilliant idea. But again, I made the mistake last summer, I bought one off an infomercial thinking. You have the plastic end one too. Yes, I do. Yes. And by the way, it was not inexpensive. It was 30 bucks to buy and it wound up to be 25 feet long. This is 200 feet long. Yeah, you can put them end to end. You can put one in the front of the house, one in the back of the house. You take it out, you water, you do what you want. And then when you turn it off, yeah, this you can is see, cool. we're, we're fully expanded right here. I mean, we're a little limited because our set, we can't go 100 feet on this uh, where we are. Right. All right. But all you do is, Dan, just turn the nozzle off there. So you hook it up to your faucet just like you would. So as soon as I start to empty this guy out, by it pressing shrinks. that, the hose shrinks. So as it shrinks, it's basically putting itself away back to that 33 feet uh, and two pounds. Okay. Uh, the, the green hoses with the yellow stripes, uh, they're made of plastic. Right. They're made out of a material that's very, very similar to recycled soda bottles. How much does this one weigh? That, that's over 10 pounds and right there. What length do I have on this? Is this 100? You got a 75 feet. 75 footer. Here's 100 feet and it weighs how much? That weighs two and a half pounds. 10 pounds, about a fifth of the weight. And, and this is longer.
And that's two and, and a half pounds two when two you have them. the nozzles on there and everything else. Right. So, I mean, it's so much easier. And you can see, this guy's pretty much put itself away. And this stuff doesn't kink. Well, it doesn't it kink. can't. No, you're not, you can tie it in knots. It's still going to have the water pressure. And the great thing is, is I've basically emptied all the water out of it. There might be a drop or two in there. Right. But now I can go ahead and I can easily coil this back up. I can put it in a flower pot. I can bring it in the house. I use mine to wash off the cars, even though it's, you know, because a lot of salt and stuff right. like that. Bring it back and hang it in the garage. And then it doesn't freeze. You have an RV. You're limited in space. Yes. This is awesome well, for when you're out in the RV or a boat, stuff like that. If you have an RV that's 40 feet in length, and you've got a 25 foot hose, you can't wash two sides. No, you now, can't. Now, by the way, we were gonna attach both of these together and stretch them out so you could see it. <laughs> we don't have the room. Yeah. We're two, this is 200 feet of hose. You gotta try it. It really is an exceptional purchase. Jeanette is phoning from New Jersey. Najette, no, Najette, daylight savings time. We're gonna flip the clocks forward tomorrow. You ready? Yes, I am. Yeah. Just, just, and I know it doesn't really change anything, but just to have the sun go down an hour later is going to uh, feel like spring. Yeah, we're all looking forward to that. Yeah, what's your temperature in your backyard this morning? 18 degrees. Okay. Oh, you're nice and not warm. Not too bad, not too bad compared <laughs> to you, Dan. Yeah. Yeah, you know what, though? Jeanette, I looked at the weather report. As a farmer, I look at this every single day. The next five days, we're going to be way above normal. Well, and we are looking forward to that. Yes, Maybe we getting are. Getting rid of some of the snow that's outside. Yes. Uh, here, here's the deal. Mother Nature owes us. <laughs> well, she I'm owes with you us. on that. So, I think everybody's done with the snow and ready for spring. So yes. it's good to see some spring items on TV. How, how will you utilize 200 feet of hose? Well, you know, I'm really curious about this because I have purchased in the past the As Seen on TV version of this. Okay, yep. And um, both times I purchased it, it quickly got a puncture hole. Uh -huh. um, and I'm not really sure how or why. And, you know, within a week, I had to throw them out. So I was curious to try QVC's product because I know your quality is generally much higher and reliable. And this looks a little different. So can you tell me a little bit about the durability of it? Happy yes. to. Again, in this particular show, it's one of the only shows that I host where I get to pick every product and every vendor that comes onto the program. They start with an outer casing. I want you to think of it as almost a sleeve. And it is a material, but it's very, very similar to the material that they actually make fire hoses out of. Right. On the oh, inside cool. is a chamber, a thinner hose, if you will, uh, which is beneficial for folks like me that don't have really high water pressure. It'll maximize that water pressure. It is possible to puncture, but it would take a needle or well, running over with a lawnmower and, and things of that nature. And the outer and inner casings are all woven together. Yep. So they're so much stronger than just being one little piece where you can, you know, as you said, run it over with the car and puncture it. You're not going to have to worry about that with this. Yeah. Plus, yeah, these no, they look really sturdy and attractive. And I have to tell you, you know, I have a challenge in my backyard where I don't have a place to really store the hose without you know, having it sit on the siding of the yep. house or yeah. something like that. So this is perfect because you can put it away yeah, and not have it as an eyesore. Yeah. How about this? There's 200 <laughs> feet of hose in a flower pot and you wouldn't even know it's there. Fantastic. Okay. I'm looking forward to getting it. Jeanette, and it's very, very simple. And this is the same with every product at QVC. If you don't love it, you send it back. But it's not in one of my shows unless I know it's the best of the best. Okay. Oh, you're awesome, Dan. <laughs> I enjoy having you watch. Thank you very much. <laughs> Spring will be here. It'll get Thank here. You. Enjoy your day. Enjoy. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Big story here is the quality, but the biggest story is 200 feet of hose that weigh less than a fifth of traditional hosing and a great, great price.